We're meeting here today in Manchester when just a few months ago this place was a field hospital for Covid patients and the coronavirus pandemic has really exposed the existing fragilities in the NHS. We're bringing together people from across the NHS and the suppliers and partners as well to discuss and debate the big issues and try and learn from each other so that they can have two days away from their very difficult jobs and take some of the learning back to their own organisation and hopefully improve things for patients. Why are staff choosing to leave intensive care? Why are they choosing to leave the nursing profession? And until we know the answers to that, we can't identify solutions. The amount of money which is being spent on compensation for accidents in the health service is frighteningly large. Joining it up is something that needs people coming together to talk about how to properly deal with what is a vexed and difficult issue. We've also seen the problem of inequalities in the way people experience harm. People don't always recognise that race and racism do have an impact in terms of patient safety. If we had an outbreak of MRSA, we would look at the research and we'd listen to lived experience. We don't do that on race. What I'd like is to take away the idea of our humanity and what unites us and brings us together and to really focus on bringing it into our systems. Patient safety can sometimes be preoccupied with what's gone wrong and I think it's really important we learn from what goes right as a way of designing solutions, systems and processes. There is so much good practice that is currently ongoing. By empowering patients to do some of the things that we've always just entrusted healthcare professionals, we can change the discussion and we can change the way we work. It's so important to involve patients like me and my family because we've got real life experience. We can actually tell it how it is, not how it might be or how it could have been. These true, raw stories of experience really bring it home to people what the issues are. It's real human lives that are affected by this. A lot of our patients have really useful, good suggestions for making improvements in care, so I think it is really about listening and responding and informing them what you've done with the information you've gathered. If you take one or two ideas away and maybe approach something differently as a result of what you've heard and then that in turn makes a difference to a team or a patient and a family, then that's the biggest impact we can make. No one body can solve the issue of patient safety on their own. This is the time when we need to transform. We've all got ideas, and that's the great thing about an event like this, is sharing them and learning from what's happened. To be able to do that face to face, it just feels even more special. The Congress has changed medical textbooks, we've had new research commissioned, people have linked up and done projects together, and so hopefully we'll see that continue. It's great to be back here after two years.